I was 92 last August. I'll be 93 next August. <laughs> of the people that served in, in cryptology during World War II, I'm about the only one that's still living. When I signed up for the Navy, I didn't even know what a Navy uniform looked like. I was born and raised in Iowa on a farm. We didn't have any Navy out there. <laughs> I'm commonly known as Donald Mac Showers. If people call me Donald, I know that they don't know me. <laughs> I'm not a linguist and I'm not a cryptologist. I was an intelligence analyst in the combat intelligence unit. And I had no idea what I was getting into. But there I was, and they told me I was in the code-breaking shop. It was cold and damp down in that basement. The first battle that we had to deal with was the Battle of Coral Sea. And I always relate the Battle of Coral Sea and the Battle of Midway together, because they were one month, one month apart. The fact that Admiral Nimitz was able to get U.S. Navy ships involved in both of those battles was because of our intelligence had it not been for the information we gave him. Admiral Limits would not have been able to get ships to defend in either of those two battles because in breaking the code, we knew what the Japanese plans were. We knew what ships were involved. We knew what the schedule was, and we knew what their intention was. They were going to capture Midway Island. They had a landing force and a base development force as part of the as part of the uh, ships that came to the Midway area. They all retreated the next day after we sank four carriers. So that was their air cover, four aircraft carriers, and we sank all four of them the first day of the battle. And we were able to do that because we knew where they were, what they were up to, and what the schedule was. All of this secret material and top secret material and top secret code word material that we developed during World War II has all been declassified. Of course, I don't have any security clearances, so they don't have to worry about me knowing anything classified. <laughs>